channel it's your girl Evie here back with another video and happy vlogtober you guys hope you guys are enjoying it so far today's video i am coming to you with my top 10 really 11 of my favorite scary movies some of you guys have heard of these might haven't but i'm about to tell you what my favorite horror movies is so without further ado let's get into the video now, I'm not big into spoiling movies. I want you to be surprised and scared when you watch the movie. So I'm just gonna give like a brief description of the movies and tell you like my favorite thing about the movie and everything. But yeah, that's about it. I'm not gonna get too much into it. I want you to see these movies yourself so you can experience it and get to love them how I got to love them, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the video. So number 10, which is two movies because I forgot one. I just want to be a list of 10, but it's really 11. But number 10 is two movies. We're gonna start with The Faculty. First off, we're gonna start with The Faculty. I absolutely love The Faculty. Some people might not know what I'm talking about, but look it up. It stars Usher Brightman, Josh Harnett, Elijah Wood, I hope I'm not butchering these people's names, but yes, I love it. It sets in a high school and they're searching for the Queen Alien or King Alien and basically polluting the high school. And basically, it start with the faculty. That's why it's called the faculty, okay? So it's a great movie. Check it on out. The next one is Bones. This still is in number 10. I love Bones and it stars Snoop Dogg, Pam Greer, Bianca Lawson, and a lot of great actors. I love this movie because you get to see Snoop Dogg in the horror movie. Like, what? But yeah, that was a good one. And Jimmy Bones, which is played by Snoop Dogg, is a legendary protector and patron of the thriving neighborhood. Cool, handsome, and respected, Bones is a caretaker of all his people until he was betrayed by the closest to him. So you flash forward 20 years before, I mean after, and the neighborhood is corrupted with drugs and stuff, it's raining down, and it's a lot. I mean, it's a good movie. I liked it a lot. And like I said, it's good to see Snoop Dogg in a horror movie, so you should check it out. The next one is Tales from the Hood, you guys. Tales from the Hood. Now, it's like three stories in this movie and they're all pretty scary the one that scared me was with the dolls that's all i'm gonna say it's a great cast as well clarence williams the third david allen greer joe torrey lamont bentley rp it's a lot of great actors in this one and i really enjoyed it so that was number nine sorry guys number eight is people under the stairs now, I know a lot of people haven't seen this movie, but I love it. You guys need to check it out if you haven't already. But um, it stars Brandon Adams, Wendy Robbie, Ving Rhimes, and a lot of other actresses and actors. Um, I love this movie. It's by Rex Craven. You know, he makes lovely horror movies. Lovely horror, everything for real. But yes y'all i love horror movies and he's one of the best creators out here it's great but yes people under the stairs was a trippy one so you guys have to check that out i don't want to get too much into it like i said i don't like to spoil movies and that one is a good one so make sure you guys check it out people under the stairs Number seven is Vampire in Brooklyn, one of my favorites. Well, this whole list is like my favorites, y'all. Like, I'm getting more excited, more excited as I get to number one. Like, y'all don't even understand. But Vampire in Brooklyn is like up there. This is number seven, so y'all, like, it's getting good, 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 good. good. Like, I'm, I'm excited. Like, and I already you know. So it stars Eddie Murphy, Red Craven. Uh, Keem Hardison, Angela Bassett, of course, John Witherspoon, R.P. Alan Payne. It's a whole cast. It's an amazing cast, and it's an amazing movie. I love it. 
and I just I don't want to give too much. He's a vampire in Brooklyn. I mean, Eddie Murphy is a vampire. He's trying to turn Angela Bass into a vampire. It's just ah, I love it. Okay, I loved Eddie Wig. He didn't like it. He said that it, I guess it made people not take him too serious in the movie. So, but I loved it. He looked silky smooth. Okay, I loved it. Vampire in Brooklyn, y'all check it out. Now, number six is Leprechaun. I love the Leprechaun franchise, but my favorite is Leprechaun 1, and then number five, which is Leprechaun in the Hood. So, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows about Leprechaun, okay? He's going after his goal, and he's killing everybody in his way, okay? Period. Nothing much needs to be said. I love me some Leprechaun. So, it starred Robert Davis, and from Aniston. Leprechaun in the Hood starring Ice-T. So yes, it's a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it already, I don't know what you're doing with this, but yeah, check that one out, please. Number five is Get Out. One of the newer horror movies, and it's by Jordan Peele. I absolutely love this movie. It was Get Out was really good. Now that Chris and his girlfriend Rose have reached the Meet the Parents milestones of dating, she invites him for a weekend getaway upstate with her parents, Missy and Dean. At first, Chris reads the family's overly accommodating behavior as nervous attempts to deal with their daughter's interracial relationship. But as the weekend progresses, disturbing discoveries lead him to a truth that he could never imagine. But yes, make sure you guys check out Get Out, you guys. It was really good. That is one of my go-tos to keep going back and watch as, as well as the next one, which is number four, which is Us, another Jordan Peele movie. And I absolutely love this one. I recommend you guys watch this one and then watch it over. It's, it's chilling when you watch it the second time. That's all I'm gonna say. Amazing cast. I loved it, loved it, loved it. It stars Lupita. I'm not gonna say her last name because I don't wanna butcher it. Winston Duke, Gabe Wilson. But yes, yeah, please check it out, you guys. I absolutely loved it. I'm sure most of you seen it. I'm not gonna really go over it. Just check it out. Because I know you haven't seen the trailers for yet because it's a, still a new movie. You can see consider this still a new horror movie based on all the other stuff that's been coming out. Go see that, please. Now, number three is Nightmare on Elm Street. This whole franchise, y'all, I love it. Freddy is one of my favorites besides Chuck, okay? But we're gonna get to that. Nightmare on Elm Street, y'all, I absolutely love the first one. And it's not only because my husband is in it, but it's the original, I mean. You go wrong. Then my, the next to it is Jason versus Freddy's versus Jason. Sorry. And the next one is Freddy's versus Jason. So, but I believe that is more of a Jason movie. But either way, Freddy killed it. Okay. Period. But yes, it stars Robert England. I don't want to really say. Oh gosh, Heather, Johnny Depp. And yes. So. I know you guys, most of you guys seen Nightmare on Elm Street, and I'm sure you guys agree with me that it is phenomenal. So yes. Another one by Ray Scraven. And Freddy is just funny to me, like. He's funny. Just like Chucky. And speaking of Chucky, he is number two on my list. Friday Chucky is like my favorite out of all the Chuckies. Friday Chucky is my favorite, most favorite. Chucky is hilarious, y'all. Now, if y'all like Chucky, I don't know. I don't know. I'm the wrong with you, okay? But I love Chucky. And it's funny because he, like, in this, like, Twitter battle with the new, it's her name, Megan. This new doll that's out. I haven't watched any of the, but it's funny. Whoever the creator is of Chucky on Sci Fi. I watched the new series, too, on Sci Fi. If y'all don't watch that, get into it. It's good. But yeah, that's just funny. I love it. I love Chucky. Chucky's dear to my heart. No getting to explain, no need to explain that. Everybody should have seen Chucky. If you haven't, go watch it. And it stars Jennifer Tilly, Brad Dorif. Yeah, please go watch it, all right? That's Chucky. Now, this is number one, y'all. And I am here alone, so I'm already scared. 
I didn't even write the whole name down on my paper. And I didn't even write the whole name down on my paper. And most of y'all that know me will probably be like, why is this number one, Ebony, if that scares you the most? But that is the, but that is the point. I love scary movies. I need something that's gonna scare me. Most things don't scare me. This number one scares me. Okay, it scares me. It really did. Okay, so number one, yes, we know. And I love the franchise as well. I really just like number one and number, I think it's number four, which Jordan Peele did as well. So let's pull up to Jordan Peele, please. Period. But he did an amazing job. I'm getting scared, y'all, with these things right here because I'm talking about this now. But we got to go. But number one on my list is Candyman. Of course, it was amazing. It scared me. It still scares me to this day to where I'm about to end this video right now because I got to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me tell you who's starting this because I feel like I'm not doing this to diligence. But you got You got Y'all know about it. Y'all know about it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's good. It's scary to me. Okay? Go watch it. Let me know what you guys think of my list down below. Tell me some scary movies you guys think that I should tune into. If you think that I haven't watched them, let me know down in the description box. Well, sorry. Let me know down in the comment box what you think I should watch. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one.